All right, guys, what's going on today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Sev or Sev256, whichever you want to call me. And today is my first tutorial for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Um, now, this is going to be a tutorial on how to change the model of the character when they transform. And I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you the one for the in game transformation. So, you know, the basic Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. And then I'll go into something a little more advanced for, uh, you know, modded transformations like Lazy Bones and show you how to do that. It's honestly the same exact way just a little more steps for the modded versions uh, but anyways let's go ahead and get started right here so the first thing you really really need to do right now is make sure you have your hum bcs file now i already went ahead and made mine into an xml but i'll just show you guys how to do it so you guys know how to uh, get it from the beginning so you're going to take your hum bcs right here and then you're going to drag it over on top of the program ginser or ginser i don't know how to really pronounce that but you should be able to get this off the anime game mods forum you know where we get all our tools and resources for Xenoverse 2 modding but you can just go ahead drop it right there it'll bring up a little prompt window right there and then it will load uh, the BCS file into an XML and then you're gonna open this preferably with notepad plus plus it makes everything a little bit easier to do but you can do this in regular notepad um, but I'm gonna use notepad plus um, plus we're gonna open that right now and so these are what we call you know part sets uh, right now you're gonna see we're right here I already had one kind of going for me um, this is part IDX equals uh, 8 really don't need to know what that is right now but uh, what we need to find is this information right here where it says part set IDX equals 297 and you want to actually make sure you have these quotation marks at the uh, in of both of all of them right there otherwise it's not going to really search for it um, as far as I know but uh, either way part set IDX equals 297 is pretty much the section of uh, the Super Saiyan 1 transformation that you're going to be on to edit if you want to work with the regular in-game uh, transformations. And so for you guys that are not too sure about this or what uh, the numbers are, 297 equals Super Saiyan 1, 298 equals Super Saiyan 2, 299 equals Super Saiyan 3, okay? So we're just going to go in order. Uh, so we're going to start with Super Saiyan 1. I'm going to copy that right there, and then I'm going to go to find, okay? So right here, I'm going to go ahead and paste that into find what. It's going to find part set 297 for me. And this is the section, again, that controls everything that Super Saiyan 1 will change for you. Um, the game already has, you know, option for the face, forehead, the eye, uh, the hair, you know, that's the basic stuff that the game will actually change for your character, okay? Now, this part right here where it says bust, uh, this and then this entry is empty, pants this entry is empty, and so on and so forth, or what you can change. <clears throat> oh, sorry guys. Um, either way, either way, um, this is what we're really gonna wanna work with right now. You can change the part set for the hair, the eyes if you want to, but that's not really what I'm gonna show you guys, because everyone's really more interested in how to change the model of the character you know clothing wise um, so just as an example we're gonna change the bust right here so first I want to go ahead and erase this part right here where it says this entry is empty leave that a blank for right now and then what you guys need to do and you may have saw this in the beginning is um, you need to have uh, the costume creator uh, program and also later down on the line skill creator program but we're gonna be focusing on the costume creator um, you can honestly leave this mod info section right here blank you really really don't need this um, also files you can leave that blank too uh, but the one you really want to mess with is hum slash sim um, and then when you get onto that section oops I didn't mean to change that let me fix that for you guys real quick um, you're gonna enable hum slash sim Sim, and this is going to make this BCS part set part open okay now when we get to this part when you get to this part what you really really want to try to do is go to copy right here and then from game uh, hum .bcs. you can do external BCS but really everything that you're going to want to use is on the in-game BCS no matter what so you can do from game and then you're going to go ahead and look for the ID number of the model you want to use so most of these are blank, you know, as you know already, but uh, the further you go down, the more entries you'll get that actually have names and it'll be a lot easier for you to know which ones are which. Um, so let's, let's see, which one do I want to use? Uh, let's, 
Okay, so you know what? Let's use Beerus' as clothes. Um, we're gonna use that to select entry 525, and then after you select an entry or a model, it's gonna bring up the part sets in the costume creator. All right, so just like in the BCS file that we already opened and I showed you guys a little bit of, it's gonna load the exact same kind of structure up. And you see right here where it says uh, part IDX equals six. This is the bus part. Usually part IDX equals six is always gonna be the bus as far as I know that hasn't seemed to change throughout all the uh, modding I've done for this so far. Um, but either way, I wanna go ahead and copy the, this part all the way down to the files value section right here. And then I'm gonna copy, okay? When I copy it, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the BCS file right here, and then I am gonna go ahead and paste it in. Now, I don't know if this makes a difference, but I want to make it look exactly the same as the one that's above me. See how it's all kind of tabbed or indented in? So I wanna go ahead and just tab all these guys in so they're all aligned properly. And then once we are done with that, we can go ahead and either add on more clothing parts, so like the pants, or the shoes, or uh, actually, actually I should say boots, or the wrist, anything like that. So let's go ahead and just add one more onto our character right now. Um, okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and do the pants just because it's the easiest one and it's always the next one. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this one, copy, and then we're gonna go down to pants, delete the entry is empty uh, section right here, paste it in, and then tab everything in, okay? It's the only thing we're gonna do is tab everything in right now. Okay. And then since we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and be a little bit ambitious and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Super Saiyan 2 section. So I'm gonna go back to my notepad, copy part set IDX 298. Let's go ahead and search for it. Okay, so we're at Super Saiyan 2 right now. We're right, right here, you know, this is Super Saiyan 2 section, and we're gonna go ahead and change the clothing one more time. So let's go down to uh, part six. Let's go ahead and erase that. And then we're gonna look up a different costume this time. So let's see who we should get next. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and use, we'll use babies, okay? We're gonna use Super Baby 2's clothing. We're gonna change the model for the bust, copy it, paste it into the BCS. We're going to tap in, okay, Just a few more. And then we're gonna also get the pants too. Okay, and then we're gonna go down to pants, delete this, tab it in, or paste it in, now tab it in. Okay. And then, that's done. So I could do Super Saiyan 3, but I don't wanna go ahead and make this too long for you guys. It's really honestly the same exact thing for the regular transformations right now. Um, so this is good so far. We're gonna go ahead and save it. And then we are gonna go back to the XML version of the BCS we made and drag it back over to Ginser or Ginser, whatever you wanna call it. So that updated the original BCS file for us, okay? So what I'm gonna do next for you guys, just so you guys can see it, is I'm gonna jump into the game in a few seconds and I'll be back and show you how the transformations look once we uh, change the BCS, okay? So I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so we're back and we're in game. We're gonna go ahead and see how our Super Saiyan 1 and 2 transformations looked. Um, but let me, let me go ahead and adjust our key so this will be a little bit easier for us. Okay, I wanna waste some keys so we can go straight into the transformations. All right, so we got Super Saiyan 1 right now. We're ready to use it. Let's see how our Super Saiyan 1 transformation looks with the Beerus clothing on our character right now. Okay, so see? Super Saiyan 1 now has Beerus's clothing, okay? So now, if I go ahead and just make the key go up just a little bit more. Okay, that's good enough. No, wait, a little bit more. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't have any uh, 
charge abilities on this character right now, so that's why I gotta do that. But either way, so we got Super Saiyan 1 with Beerus' clothing. Now, if you guys remember, we switched uh, Super Saiyan 2 clothing to Baby uh, Super Baby 2's. So we're gonna go ahead and see that work now too. And it did, okay? So, see, that's how you can change in-game transformations um, to any clothing you want. It really is not that hard. Now, now that we have this done and we are able to get, uh, you know, regular clothing change for regular Super Saiyan transformations, why don't we go ahead and jump into modded transformations? This one gets a little bit more tricky, uh, but it's not that hard. Okay, so I'll see you guys back in a few more seconds. Okay guys, so we're back. We're gonna go ahead and look into how to change modded transformations now. Um, so this is why I needed you guys to have the skill creator too. This is where this whole tool kind of falls into place. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use lazy bone transformations as a kind of starting point for what we're gonna do, okay? Um, so if you have the skill creator open, this is great. What we're gonna go ahead and do is open one of the transformations. Let's go ahead and come to here. And let's change out, huh, let's see, let's see. We're gonna do Super Saiyan God, okay? So now that we have the Super Saiyan God transformation open in the skill creator, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come to the custom or cus tab, I guess you can say, and then we're gonna do copy right here, and then from game, okay? When you open up the from game section, it's gonna load up all the skills, including transformations and ultimates and stuff like that. Um, but you wanna find the Super Saiyan God solo transformation right here, okay? And it loads up a part set, 643, okay? So what we wanna do now, what we wanna go ahead and do is we wanna go to our notepad. This is just an easy way for me to remember it, guys. Um, we're gonna go ahead and copy one of these. And then we're gonna come to our BCS file, which is again right here in the XML format. And we're gonna look up part set 643. Okay. So right here, six, part set 643. This is Super Saiyan God Solo, the only transformation for that one. And just like with the in game transformations, you're gonna go ahead and find the section you wanna change. So we're gonna change the bust out, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase the bust right here. And then I'm gonna come back to the costume creator and look up a piece of clothing that I wanna change. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna use one of Goku's. Um, so let's see, let's see, where is, ah, Wii symbol. Okay, so we got the Wii symbol clothing right here. We're gonna take the bust code for that. Okay, copy it. We're gonna paste it in and then tab all the sections so they're all aligned like the other ones. Okay. And done, we're gonna press save, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna drag the XML over against her again, and then we're gonna go ahead and open up our game now that we have an updated BCS file again for Super Saiyan God. So I'll be right back guys, catch you in a few. Okay, so now that we are back in game, we're gonna go ahead and see if Super Saiyan God changed the clothing. And this time we only changed the bust and then do the pants because it's honestly the same exact process you just need to know what the parts that are for the modded uh, transformations. So we'll go ahead and go Super Saiyan God right now. We should have the Wii symbol gi on, and we do. So see, it changed the clothing for the character right now. We got the Wii symbol gi, and it's honestly, it's pretty, pretty easy once you know what you need to look for. Uh, this used to be one of the hardest things for me, and now it's something that you guys are able to do too. Um, the one thing I'll let you guys know, and I should have uh, dropped this piece of information before we got back into the game, um, but the part sets or the model or transformation IDs, whatever you want to call it, for the modded transformations are going to be completely different from the in-game ones. So again, the in-game transformations for Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 are 297, 298, and 299. The reason why we use the skill creator for the modded transformations is because the numbers are completely different. As you guys can see, uh, the Super Saiyan God ID number was in like the 600s. So you wouldn't really even be able to, you know, guess what that is if you didn't use a skill creator. But that's why you want to use it, and that would make it a lot easier for you guys to kind of, you know, experiment with the clothing you want to change for your character when they transform. Now, I didn't show you guys this also too, but when you do the unlock Awoken scale, they'll just go back to normal. They'll go back to the regular clothing they have. So if you don't mind that, then that's all good. I don't think there is a way to go back to... I'll keep the same clothing after the transformation, which really isn't that big of a deal. Um, but this is really for more people that want to kind of create 
more unique transformations for themselves or for people that are into like fan fictions or fanfics whatever you want to call them um and want to create a you know a awesome new transformation for the character or you know uh, or what have you but either way guys i hope the uh, tutorial was very very helpful for you guys i learned this within like a day and i'm glad i was able to kind of give you guys the information if you guys have any other ideas for any other tutorials that you want to see from me that's in my you know kind of experience <laughs> um, then kind of leave a suggestion down in the comments guys but that's all i wanted to teach you for today and i'll catch y'all later